So this is something I've kind of wanted to do. Uh, in this video, I'll go through what vacuums I use as daily drivers or what I take to uh, uh, relatives' places to go clean. And basically why I choose them instead of something else. So, kick back, relax, and... Uh, Enjoy the show. Starting off with my personal favorite clean air upright vacuum, the Sanitaire Force Quiet Clean. This is one I use as pretty much a daily driver. Reasons being, it's quiet, it cleans really good, and it's got pretty dang good filtration. And also for a sub $200 vacuum cleaner, this thing has a lot of power from this end. So that really helps with its cleaning abilities. Also, these things are very easy to disassemble and service, which is a big plus for me because I do not have to go through hell just to take these things apart. And that is why I recommend them to people that have a lot of carpet. Because easy to service, easy to use, nice and quiet, very powerful. And if you get the right kind of bags, you do not have to worry about dust getting into the motor. I use these uh, synthetic cloth bags. They are mainly made of polypropylene. Some of them are made of combinations of other fabrics. But I use these ones that are made by <coughs> Vac America Clean. Insanely good bags. Keeps the dust out of my home, so. Next up is this Kenmore IntelliClean Progressive with Direct Drive. Now, a lot of people don't like these because they're so electronically complex. But if you ignore that, they're pretty good machines. Uh, my mom bought this brand new around 2008-2009, and it's served us well ever since. Recently got a new pack of the synthetic type O bags for these. So, one had to deal with dust in the bag compartment for a good long while, and recently put a brand new HEPA filter on it. So, yeah. This machine is extremely powerful for a vacuum with a br brush full of powering, brush full being powered by a separate motor. It does a pretty good job at what it does. <clears throat> It is a very electronically complex machine, but its construction is very simple. It's not that loud. It's not particularly quiet, but it's not ear-piercingly loud. <clears throat> and it does a really good job on this plush pile carpet. So, I like it. It gets, it gets the spot. Something else I really have grown to like is this 1970s Eureka 2093A. This is one of the Vanguard Vacs with a automatic-ish cord rewind. It's got the old style Viber Groomer 1. It's made out of pretty much all metal, which really doesn't mean anything anymore in a day where plastic can be strong as nails. But it does clean really good, especially with the brand new bristle strips on board. And also, it's extremely quiet, because it's got a very slow motor, which is actually not a bad thing. Got those bags in it, the HEPA bags, because as we all know, Filtration was not on everyone's mind back in the 70s, so these those bags make up for it. 
It's not a lightweight machine because the base is pretty much all metal. <clears throat> but it is still a good machine. It cleans good, it's quiet, and it's got speed control. So I like it. It's nice and quiet and it cleans good. So it is one of the runners. Totally unrelated, but this is Nebula. She is a dog. She likes to bark at things, and she also likes to sleep. She's very tired right now. When it comes to just cleaning hard floors, I tend to go for this Eureka the Boss Mighty Might 9 amp. Uh, it is a very good machine, has a lot of power. It currently has the paper bags in it, but that's guaranteed to change soon when I uh, go through the last one. <clears throat> it's not quiet, but it's not loud, so... And it's got a lot of power for such a tiny little machine. It does not have the full-size upright motor, but it still has a lot of cleaning power for a small package. So this get the job done. The best deep cleaner in the house is this Eureka commercial. I use this when I feel like carpets need to be really clean. As we all know, Vibra Groomer 2s are magic. This thing will pretty much out clean anything I got. It's Lighter than the uh, uh, Eureka Vanguard for sure, but it's louder, so gets a point or two docked for it. It's got the same kind of bags that the other one has, so again to make up for the uh, lack of filtration. Although this this outer bag's a very thick, tightly sewn bag, so it. <clears throat> it does a good job at filtration for a direct air machine. Again, it's a lot lighter weight than the Vanguard, but I prefer the Vanguard if I'm just going to clean something, not looking for a deep clean. Nice long cord, nice bright headlight, nice cleaner. This one gets the runners. One of the ones I got recently was this Simplicity Freedom S10S. I got this a couple of weeks ago, and I enjoy having it. It's lightweight, it's extremely powerful, and it's got two speeds. Mine does not have the metal brush roll, but this brush roll does perfectly fine as is. And very easy to maintain, very easy to service. <clears throat> for a lightweight, powerful vacuum. This is definitely one of the machines that I would go for if you ever need something that's lightweight, because this will outperform any Auric indefinitely. So lightweight, extremely powerful, and you just saw the kind of bag it had. I don't need to explain that. So, at least decent filtration. This thing definitely gets a runner spot. Going back in time a little bit with this Simplicity 7300. This is one of the old style uh, Simplicity Recarvax. It's got a chrome steel brush roll with replaceable bristle strips. As you can see, I've yet to clean mine in a little while. But... It is a good cleaner, along with a dual stage fan, so that is very helpful. It's a very good floor cleaner, and that's primarily what I use it for. It's also got a HEPA bag inside. Could use a bit of a clean out because this thing is old, and also one of the old bags fell off while I was using it. <clears throat> but that just happens. And it's multi-surface. 
So, multi-surface, nice and quiet, dual stage fan, great cleaning. This thing is definitely one of the runners. And last but certainly not the least, this little green Dirt Devil Plus with a two-speed switch, a nice belt-driven brush roll, and of course, bag. This thing is very good for stairs, cars, and upholstery. So, for a handheld vac, this thing agitates better than some full-sized uprights that are twice the price of it. Powerful, easy to use, lightweight, easy to service. This thing is, in fact, one of the runners. Some of you might be getting ready to type get a Seaball, get a Mula, get a Linhas, get a Windsor. Well, this guy is a high school student. High school students do not have Sibo, Mila, Windsor, Linhas money. All I have is little money and uh, a big city with a lot of curbs and a Quite a few thrift stores. Of course, nowadays thrift stores are getting worse, but what are you going to do about it? It's inflation. Welcome to America. Anyways, so those are what I use as daily drivers, pretty much. There's a lot of them, but they all work, and sometimes having a little variety is not a bad thing. Anyways, I'm Jax Vax and Safety signing off. See y'all in the next one.